After the LAN classic, let's see how to deploy a VXLAN eVPN fabric in few click. Here is a summary that depicts uh, the step-by-step -step actions to build the VXLAN eVPN fabric. The first action is to create a new fabric by selecting the corresponding fabric template and edit the fabric settings if needed. The concept of uh, templates will be discussed uh, in the next uh, chapter, but in short, it means that the fabric settings come pre-configured with almost all parameters required to build a full fabric. And then NDFC discovers all the devices of interest to be imported into a new fabric. When all devices have been imported, you save the configuration. This action generates the required CLI configuration for each node based on Cisco best practices. And if you are familiar with uh, NXOS uh, configuration, or you may want to learn how to configure a VXLAN VPN fabric, you can preview at any time uh, the configuration for each node pushed by NDFC. If you don't care about the CLI configuration, you can skip this preview and leave NDFC to push the end-to-end -end configuration automatically. And finally, the last action is to push the configuration automatically created by NDFC toward each device. Consequently, the VXN eVPN underlay is ready in few minutes. So when the configuration is deployed and the fabric is up and running, some actions may be required based on the user intent or based on the status of the switch. For example, you may want to configure a VPC pairing, change the role of the switch, preview a pending configuration, and much more. Generally speaking, with NDFC, you can get the detailed view of a fabric that provides you all components and uh, subcomponents and the parameters that you can view or change or create in a single pane of glass. However, from the topology view, you can directly select the device of interest and with the right click, you can access directly the device options as displayed here for Lift 2. There are several options that you can apply on a per device basis or from the detailed view. Some options that provide uh, multiple actions can be expanded, such as the discovery process of a device. The rule is used by NDFC to automate the configurations to be deployed to a device based on your intent. NDFC recognizes automatically the role between a spine or a leaf node based on its hardware model, but you may want to change the role manually, for example, to the border gateway rules for a multi-site deployment, or to a border leaf node for an external network connectivity, or maybe because you use a leaf node uh, hardware at the spine layer, and so on. You can also suspend the switch using uh, the graceful insertion or removal uh, feature, either because you want to upgrade its software image or swap it for an RMA process. Then you can change its mode to maintenance or to the operational mode using this knob. You can save the configuration of a switch, you can reload the switch, you can run different show CLI command pre-built for, for you using policy templates, and you can create your own show command if you want. This slide details the different steps for the next demo to build uh, a VXLAN VPN fabric. The first step is to add a new fabric, onboard the switches of interest in the new fabric, verify or update uh, the switch role. In this demo, we will use the same model uh, for the spine, leaf, and border node, so uh, we will need to change the role for the spine devices and for the border nodes. You will create uh, the required VPC pairing and VPC interfaces to connect the LAN classic previously created. And then recalculate and deploy. Let's have uh, the demo. In the previous demo, we have built a classic LAN from ground up. Now we want to deploy a greenfield VXLAN eVPN fabric underlay and attach the LAN classic network to a pair of VPC border leaf nodes. 
You can create a new fabric from the topology menu where the classic land already exists. As previously, with the right click, add a new fabric, give a name, choose a fabric model, select the data center VXLAN VPN fabric type. The only parameters which is mandatory currently is the BGP IS number, as NDFC can't guess about it. For all the parameters, such as uh, if you wish to enable the performance monitoring, or use a different replication mode, or change the VPC values, or the loopback IDs, or if you are an expert, you can use the advanced tab. Under the resource tab, you may want to dissociate the underlay IP address ranges between fabrics, so uh, a plus one digit for fabric one, and you will add a plus two for fabric two, and so on. This is not mandatory, it's up to you. If you wish to configure NTP or DNS on the switches, it's here. You can configure the bootstrap here. You can schedule the backup of the fabric. And finally, you can enable NetFlow and configure a collector in the Flow tab if needed. Now Fabric 1 is ready to be populated with your switches. Go into the Fabric 1 scope, add new switches. Select a seed unit like you did for uh, the land classic with the credentials and the number of hops to discover its peers. Uncheck the preserve config because you build a greenfield fabric from ground up. NDFC discovers all the switches of interest. You can filter on the name to display only the switches from Fabric 1, for example. Select all and only the concerned switches and add them into the new fabric, which takes um, less than one minute to import all the new switches. You can close these windows and display the topology for Fabric 1. All switches appear with the same rule as they are all based on the same model. Open the Detail View window. Go to the Switch tab. Identify and select the two spine devices with their current role leaf. Select the role spine. Return to the topology view. You can now configure the VPC pairing. Select the only options proposed by NDFC. That triggered a refresh. The topology displays now the close architecture with the leaf and spine nodes. Repeat the VPC pairing for the other leaf nodes. As you can see, NDFC detected the physical connectivity with the classic land previously created. Now let's go to the interface menu and check uh, there is no yet any VPC. Create a new VPC to connect um, the LAN classic network. Select the leaf nodes 115 and 116. Provide the interface numbers. Disable the BPDO guards and that's it. Save and close this window. Now do recalculate and deploy. As you start from ground up, NDFC configures all interfaces of the switches and that explains the number of lines to deploy. This process takes uh, less than one minute. It depends uh, how many switches you deploy. This section has been accelerated uh, a bit. You can now close the window. Notice uh, the link in red between the two uh, spine nodes. It will be used uh, later when we will connect uh, the spine layer to the external core layer. You can check some show command if you wish, for example, to look at the underlay networks. And um, finally, when you select a link, 
uh, and the FC displays all details about it, such as the status, the IP addresses, the speed, the MTU, and more. So now we have a LAN Classic network attached to an underlay VXN EVPN fabric. 